G'day all, it's Colin from PC TLC and thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to be checking out Rizzy OS, Fedora Made Easy. I'll start off with the website and then we'll um, work our way into an install and a bit of a look around. So let's check it out. So here we are on the website of Rizzy OS. Uh, welcome to the next generation of computing, a Seattle based OS you can trust. You can uh, learn more here, download. Let's just go through here a little bit. Uh, ready for the web. Uh, they've got favorite web apps that feel native using our fork of Linux Mint's web app manager. This fork contains a store with loads of preset web apps to choose from in order to let you discover new web apps and conveniently add them. Web apps from the store also have security measures to prevent users from being redirected to malicious websites. Just in case a web app gets hacked domain sniped or becomes malicious. So we have the Rizzy Welcome, Rizzy Tweaks, Fedora based. Thanks to a stable base of Fedora, Rizzy OS is able to deliver on the latest cutting edge features without breaking things mid release cycle. Some of the things modern features Rizzy OS inherits from Fedora include ButterFS, Wayland, even on Nvidia hardware, Pipewire and many more. Fedora also provides cutting edge packages, including the latest versions of the Linux kernel and the latest versions of GNOME, among other things. So there's a RISI script as well, making scripts friendly. RISI OS ships a modified version of ZSH with features such as syntax highlighting, auto suggestions, and more. Although to keep ZSH light, we do not ship a plugin manager or framework. ZSH itself is faster than Bash, and provides many bonus features like plugin support. So that's um, an introduction to Rizzy OS. So they've got some links up top here. Cirex, I'm not quite sure what this one is. Uh, let's have a look. Some type of uh, search field. I'm not sure if that's searching um, the internet or the website. So that's doing a website search. You've got your download link here. So you've got downloads, you've got minimum system requirements, recommended requirements and downloads down the bottom. And you've got direct downloads, torrent downloads, MD5 sum, some mirrors here. You've got chat, a link to chat, which is Discord and a donate shop here. So Rizzy OS monthly donation and custom donation and a shop. So that was a look at the Rizzy OS website. Let's have a look at Rizzy OS itself. And we are going to start Rizzy OS live. So here we are on the desktop of Rizzy OS. So we're going to try that out first. Can install the hard drive in the activities overview at any time later. Let's close that. And here we are, Rizzy OS. Now what we're going to do is install first, install the hard drive, let's do that. English Australia, the keyboard is correct, time and date is correct, let's just check that out anyway. Here's Australia Perth, done. And then we go to here, this 40 gig hard drive is ticked off, so it's checked off. I'll, I'll keep that default automatic storage configuration, so all we need to do is select done. It's checking the media and we can begin installation. So that is the installation complete. I'll do a restart and we'll come back into the freshly installed desktop and have a look at what Rizzy OS has to offer. So here we are in the desktop of Rizzy OS 36. Um, based on Fedora 36, that's pretty obvious there, I would say. So what we're going to do is um, start the setup. Got location services, automatic problem reporting. I'll leave those on. Connect to your online accounts. I'll skip that for now. Uh, name, so PCTLC, username, PCTLC lowercase, that'll do me. Next, and password. And it is a weak password, that's fine by me. It's a VM. Next, and we are all done. We can start using Rizzy OS. And after a brief moment and a little bit of a flash here and there, uh, we get our Rizzy welcome screen 
Welcome to RISI OS 36, the big beta. So thank you for choosing RISI OS. This welcome screen will help guide you through the available resources for RISI OS, as well as help you set up your computer to your likings. So we've got first steps. First on the list in the first steps process is set up RPM Fusion and proprietary codex. Highly recommended. Um, installs RPM Fusion repository with extra software that, that RISI OS forward slash Fedora cannot ship. Proprietary codex needed for some media file types and Chromium Free World. Required to use some websites such as YouTube, Netflix and Spotify. So that's launch our setup RPM Fusion and proprietary codex. Installs RPM Fusion multimedia codex and replaces Chromium with Chromium Free World. So let's go next. Enable Tainted Codex. Let's do that. So I remember I had to do that. Cannot remember what, what's Tainted Codex. Enables extra drivers that may be restricted in some countries. Um, recommended if legal in your country. Okay, so let's go next. Password. And there we have it, script ran successfully. Let's select OK on that, and that closes. Now you might see that uh, now that we have run that script, the option for RPM Fusion and proprietary codex has disappeared. So you, if, it's, if it's not there when you come back in, you know that you've already completed that process. So now we can set up FlatHub. Let's launch that and select Next. Put in our password. Script ran successfully. OK. Now reboot is required. Uh, let's reboot later. Some of these are not scripts, I don't think. I've, I'm pretty sure that if you click these buttons, they're just a link to software, for example. So let's launch that. I think it's just the launcher. And that probably will launch GNOME software. And there we go. So let's close that. Um, install web apps. So let's have a look. Let's launch that one. Now this web apps is um, quite handy indeed. If we have a look at the store, you can create your own web apps. But what they have here is a store of web apps. And they have a category listing for that as well. So if we go across the categories here. And they have an enormous amount of uh, pre-installed web apps for your liking. And that's featured. We've got audio. Accessories. Development. Education. Google Drive, Games, Graphics, so these are mostly online places, and if you are subscribed to any of these places you can just select this and then it will probably take you to the login screen I would say. Internet. Productivity,
video. And that's very much it. So that's all your pre-installed web apps using the Linux Mint Web App Manager. You can click here to add your own, but I find that very handy indeed. I did try this um, on real hardware and I did do the Instagram one, I think was under internet and Instagram there. So I tried Instagram and that worked fine. So they do work. Then we've got customize Rizzy OS with Rizzy Tweaks. So we launch that. And this is the Rizzy Tweaks. You can tweak your GTK theme, icon themes. Haven't installed any extras in here, to be honest. Fonts. So we've got layout. You can um, adjust things here, hot corner, turn it on and off and so forth. Mouse and keyboard, windows. Center new windows, window action key. So you got uh, quite a few things here that's, that's possibly found under also the GNOME settings. We've got the extensions here. Now you can add extensions from web, but my best advice for that would be to use the software. So you can launch software from here, but if you're not using the welcome screen, you can just open software from here and you could extensions so that's just do a search for extensions extension manager this is the best thing you want to use if you want to do extensions this extension manager very handy indeed you don't have to go to a website like this one so if we were to add extensions from web if you haven't got a browser installed not sure if we have or not yeah we've got uh, chromium installed okay yeah that uh, doesn't seem to be opening at the moment so you've got some extensions here you can turn on and off under the uh, Rizzy Tweaks. You've got a Rizzy script so you can install Brave Web Browser, Chrome, Google Chrome, Edge, Opera and Vivaldi. And then Experimental. This page is used for enabling new experimental features that are still in the testing phase. Uh, you can install it a development version of Rizzy Tweaks. I think I'll leave that. Not sure why um, extensions from web is not opening. I'm pretty sure that worked on real hardware. Not quite sure why that is. Maybe we need to do a restart. So that is the Rizzy Tweaks. And if you want to find that, you can do so. Do a search for Tweaks and there's Rizzy Tweaks. But this extension manager here is uh, quite awesome. You can install all your extensions with extension manager. Let's just install that and I'll show you how that works. And as you can see, it's using FlatHub. I haven't restarted, but FlatHub appears to be working. I think the Flatpak didn't install. Um, probably need to do a restart there. So, so that's the first steps of Rizzy. We've got some quick steps here. Audio consumption. So if we launch that, let's click next and see what it's going to do. You can install a music player here, Lollipop, no music, rhythm box or none. And then you can install Sound Converter, Sound Juicer, Audacity, Install, Easy Effects. So that's an option there. Let's click back on that to cancel that. Audio Production, click Next. Install Ardour, LMMS. Q tractor so a whole heap of options here as well for audio production gaming you can install steam mini galaxy lutris gnome games whole heap of um, install discord anything that's game related very much here Cancel that. Graphic design and photographic. You can install GIMP, Critter, Inkscape, Darktable. You can toggle these off. You don't have to. If you click next, it'll probably install anything that's toggled on. So that's how that's working. So you can toggle them off if you don't want them. Productivity. 
Office Suite, Only Office or LibreOffice, Geary Email Client, Evolution, Thunderbird or None, Install Zoom, Install Microsoft Teams, and Video Production. Kaden Live, Open Shot, Shotcut, PTV, PTV, I'm not sure how that's pronounced. And you got OBS Studio, Audacity, and GIMP. So plenty of options to install your favorite applications within Rizzy OS slash Fedora. And they make it very easy for these things to be installed. You've got an option here to join the community, Discord, Twitter, and Instagram, and contribute to Rizzy OS. Contribute code, contribute wallpapers, contribute financially. And you can choose to show it on Startup or not, the welcome screen. You can always find it on a search for welcome. And there it is there. That's the Rizzy welcome. And if we go to first steps, you'll see that um, you don't have op the option of flat pack or anything like that there. It's all gone because we've run those scripts already. Um, software, I noticed there were some updates there. Let's just check that out. Let's download the updates. Okay, so now we've got a restart and update option, so we shall do that. Um, I'm doing it the, the new user way, which is using the graphical environment to update. So that's restart and update. Restart and install. And here we are back at the login screen after updating. Let's log in. I have to think that um, you can obviously do your updates in the terminal. Uh, I wasn't going to show that. I think it's DNF um, update or something. I, I cannot remember what the uh, Fedora update uh, command is, but uh, I thought I'd do it through the uh, graphical environment. Now I'm going to go back to software again to see if we can install the extension manager, probably because we hadn't updated. Let's just have a look at that. Now this is not a Rizzy OS uh, tool or script. It comes with the GNOME environment. Let's install that. Now it's installed. So it was probably because we hadn't updated and we installed Flatpak through the uh, uh, first setup process and it did say you had to restart for it to work. That's why that didn't. That's why that didn't install the first time. Now the reason why I'm showing this is if we have a look at the. Um, let's go back to the welcome screen again. Actually, no, I wanted to go to the um, the Rizzy tweaks. That's what I wanted to do. Just for the benefit of the Rizzy team, I just thought I would show them that this extension one here may be more worthwhile using the one that I've just installed because. It's so much more convenient than having to select add extension from web because the extension manager doesn't need a web browser. So I can see this a lot more beneficial for the RISI team within here than using a link to add extension from web. Let's just see if that link now works that we've updated the system. And there we go. So it takes you to GNOME extensions, and no doubt you're going to have to, yeah, you're going to have to install integration there. Whereas with this one, you don't have to. So, for example, if I was to look for dash to panel, which is what I use a lot, dash to panel, I can click on install, install. And dash to panel, as you can see, it's gone straight to the bottom already. So if we go to installed, dash to panel, if I turn that off, we're back to the normal 
the normal panel layout. If we browse and look for Arc Menu, there's Arc Menu there. That's an unsupported one. I'll just do Arc, I think. Arc. Arc Menu. Oh, yeah. That one's with a space. This one's without a space. There's an unsupported one. There's a supported one. So let's install that. Install. And there's your Arc Menu. And if we go to Installed, we can switch that off. And we're back to the Activities Overview. So I think that would be a much better option than um, a link to the web page. So that's probably something Rizzy could look at doing. That way uh, newer users don't have to worry about all this integration into web browsers. They can just install their extensions through this nice convenient application here called Extension Manager. So besides all that, uh, we're very much running a Fedora install with the GNOME desktop. What separates the Fedora part uh, to the Rizzy part is the, the tweaks that they've got going here and also the welcome screen with the first steps and the quick setup. There's no need to go looking around the internet on YouTube or Google, um, things to do after installing Fedora 36. They've got, I'd have to think, for new users, especially if you're new to Linux, most things covered within this quick setup option here and your first setups as well. And including the web apps, so that's the other one is the web apps. So you've got web app manager, web apps, and that's the other thing you've got as well, is the web apps and all the pre-installed web apps that they've got going is such convenience for setting up Fedora 36. Uh, with um, a very limited amount of knowledge too, to be honest. And I think they've done a wonderful job here of um, allowing new users to get their feet wet in Fedora. And everything else in here is pretty much your GNOME apps, GNOME videos, GNOME photos, GNOME software. And if you're looking for something that's uh, besides what's on offer within the uh, first setups and quick setup provided by the Rizzy team, then you can certainly search for what you're looking for in here. Me, I'm a cherry tree guy. See if cherry tree's in here, and there it is. And that's cherry tree flat pack. And that's the one I normally use, so no problem there. Now, I don't know if there's any uh, Fedora repos in here as well as flat hub. Let's have a look for Audacity. Something that, that more than likely would be. So that's within RPM Fusion. RPM Fusion, Rizzy OS Package, which is the Fedora project, RPM Fusion, and FlatHub. So you've got three options there. So they, they have got um, the Fedora project repository. So the, repo, so the Fedora repos are come, showing up within this software center as well. So that's pretty handy as well. So it looks like they've got all bases covered here. Now, while we're in the software, if we was to scroll down in software, and look for hardware drivers. You've got options of NVIDIA. The hardware, the real hardware that I tried this on was my Toshiba satellite, which has a Optimus. So when it comes to the Optimus, uh, the best way of installing NVIDIA for Optimus, which is not this way, I tried it, didn't work. I did uninstall it, and then I tried going to the Fedora uh, wiki, Fedora, NVIDIA Wiki, how to NVIDIA RPM Fusion, and there's the Optimus here. Installing the drivers, I think that's where I went to. And I looked up what my model was, which was the uh, Legacy G46700. So I installed this one here, I believe it was. And the NVIDIA was working out of the box. I think I did that on a Fedora spin of Cinnamon. I'm not sure if it was the Rizzy OS. I could have done that, I cannot remember, but I know I did it on the Fedora Cinnamon spin and Nvidia was working out of the box just as good as Ubuntu driver support really uh, with no screen tearing or anything so that was pretty handy. 
So lastly, we're going to have a quick look at the terminal on RISI OS. That's the terminal there. It's based on ZSH. So the shell that it's using is ZSH. It tells you the kernel that you're running, the OS that you're running, the uptime and the memory usage of the system. It's got a time there, 239 is correct. And a RISI OS emblem. It does do some autocomplete of text, but I'd have to think that you would need to have made a couple of um, inputs before it does that. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I could be looking for, to be honest, <laughs> in, in the system. We could probably try something. So we could go sudo nano etsy gdm custom conf so let's do that and put in my password this is just random by the way I'm not going to do anything to this thing here so we can control X and control L to clear oh that clears out the um, the emblem as well doesn't it <laughs> so if we retype that sudo nano and there's the auto completion if you wanted to retype that so I think we just hit the right arrow and that pre-fills that and we just put the password and there we go. Let's get out of there. And that's how the terminal works in Rizzy OS. So that was Rizzy OS 36 based on Fedora 36. Fedora made easy uh, for a simple setup without having to know commands, without having to wander around the internet looking for the Fedora 36 things to do after install. Um, no need to do that because everything you need is available here on first steps and quick setup in the RISI OS uh, welcome screen. Within this first steps and quick setup are uh, quite a lot of options to get all the basic functions working and your favorite applications as well. And if you cannot find the applications within this quick setup here, you do have software to use as well, which is also searching the Fedora repositories, Flatpak, and the RPM Fusion. So I think you've got everything you need there, and I'm pretty sure, I'm very confident that you'll find what you need out of the box on Rizzy OS. So if you've been looking to try Fedora, but uh, you're a little bit uh, taken back by the uh, setup of Fedora, which, which can be a lot of command line functionality to get everything up and running. Give uh, Rizzy OS a look, and I think you won't be disappointed with uh, the way they've got all their scripts set up with one-click actions and everything done for you. Now, the one thing that um, I cannot find within the RISI website is uh, one of the people that I do know that's um, part of this RISI OS team is uh, Pizza Loving Nerd. He has a YouTube channel. He's spoken with us before on Big Daddy Linux Live, which is now called Linux Saloon. He has joined us on many occasions in there. Uh, that's probably why we haven't seen him for a while. He's obviously been working on something like this. And I'm not sure how big the team is. I think these guys have done a fantastic job of setting up Rizzy OS for newer users, especially um, to get up and running on Fedora. So that was Rizzy OS 36. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting and informative. And thanks for watching.